Hello friends, so we'll continue our discussion related to signal flow graphs. Uh, so far we have discussed uh, several questions and um, in this video also we'll, uh, have a, we have a signal flow graph where we have to find out the transfer function. So we'll be using the Mason scale formula approach like we have done in the previous uh, questions. So first step is identification of the forward paths from the signal flow graph so as you can see here one of the forward paths here is starting from the input side r 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to c so that is one forward path r 1 2 3 4 5 6c gain is g1 g2 and g3 okay then we have another forward path from r to 1 then 1 directly from 1 to 6 through this forward directed arrow this branch G4 R to 1 to 6 then to C okay so P2 on the forward path R 1 6 C and the gain is simply G4 now the loops so loops uh, if you see one of the loops is 3, 4, and 3. 3, 4, 3. That is one of the loops starting and ending at the same node without any node repeated. 3, 4, 3. And the gain is minus G2 H1. Then uh, another loop is three four five three three four five three that is another loop the gain is minus g2 g3 h2 okay minus g2 g3 h2 then is uh, 2 3 4 2 okay 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 2 it is minus g1 g2 h3 is minus g1 g2 h3 okay and uh, I don't think there are any more loops no so forward path loops now the path factors path factors again it depends on the forward paths whether they are touching or not touching any particular loops or not so the, e the easy way to find out to identify common nodes between the path and the loop first forward path p1 you can see the nodal path is R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C. Comparing it with L1, identifying common nodes, 3 is there, 4 is there, P1 is touching L1. Only 3 is sufficient. When you the point you see 3, common node, one common node is enough to say that it is touching that loop. Then again 3, P1, L2, it is touching. Again, here it is 2, there 2, 2. So P1 is touching all the loops L1, L2, L3. P2 R1, 6, C. L1 there is no common node. L2 there is no common node. L3 there is no common node. So P2 is not touching any one of these loops. So the path factor for P2 is 1 minus L1 plus l2 plus l3 the loop gains 
so it is 1 minus minus g2 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 minus g1 g2 h3 and here path factor 1 is 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 again uh, to find out whether the loops are touching each other or not see whether they have any common nodes in between see 3 is common in all of these loops so they are all touching each other so we have found out p1 the forward paths p1 p2 the gains the loop the loop gains the path factor now simply we have to put these values in the mason's gain formula equation so we have uh, found out all the uh, parameters required for uh, mason's gain formula so as per mason's gain formula the transfer function it is given by this summation of the products of the forward part part factors divided by the graph determinant so here we'll substitute the values so we'll get g1 g2 g3 sorry uh, <coughs> it will be a lengthy expression so it is given by p1 down p2 2 by 1 minus l1 plus l2 plus l3 so it is g1 g2 g3 1 plus g4 into 1 plus g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 h3 divided by 1 minus sum of the individual loop gains that is minus g2 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 minus g1 g2 h3 so when we open the bracket it will all become plus so this is the transfer function for this signal flow graph okay